What's up guys, Hugh James here. Today we're back again and this video I'm playing some CP Reza in the top lane. So it's been quite some time since I played Reza, so thought I'd give it a shot again and we'll see how it goes. Of course with Reza I like to start with my B ability and then I like to try and get to my lane before the enemy. Because sometimes you can catch him off guard and it doesn't really matter if you use a dash at the start because you get it back off cooldown by the time you get to your lane. Let's see if I can get to this bush before them. Looks like we're going to be going up against the Gwen. Hopefully they face check this bush. Let's see, I think we can still win this trade. Okay, they already popped flash, so that's fine, I guess. A lot of times bot laners don't really check that bush, so... You can catch a lot of them off guard. I'm gonna make sure to take the big healer first. That way you can be healing up a bit while you take the small bear. But yeah, I don't really know why bot laners place the camus out of that bush, because it really doesn't do much for you, like, nobody's gonna gank you from there this early. So I think it's kind of pointless, but it will save you occasionally, like in that case, I guess. Yeah, you'd be surprised with how many bot laners just walk into a bush where I can and get or anything, since nobody expects anybody to be there that early. Looks like Gwen started with the healer. I'm gonna try and power farm. If I can get to level 2 before them, I can probably pressure him a bit. Oh wait, I can stop the heal. Wait, I can kill him, I think. Nice, okay. Yeah, see, I think Gwen made the mistake of taking the small bear before the big one. Because they were still healing when they got to lane, and they were pretty low. If they would have taken the healer first, then they would be healing up while they're taking the small bear. And also, yeah, I have a faster clear, so... That definitely helped me get to level 2 first. That's a pretty big power spike for... Not really a power spike, but... Pretty good time when you could just push your advantage with Reza. I'm actually not going to go for boots here. I'm just going to go for Heavy Prism. A heavy Prism helps so much with trading. And I don't necessarily think boots will really be necessary as much here because I have my dashes and stuff. I think I'd rather prioritize going for trades. Okay, let's see. So I'm pretty sure their jungler is cruel, so... I should be fine. It's really hard to gain Kareza. That's what's really nice about it, is you can just dash away. Okay, see, so like, like how much one burst does. I can, like, half health him. I'm gonna let him push this wave onto my side. And, oh, actually, never mind. There's, like, three people here. Lance is around, too. I wanted to set up a freeze, but... On my side of the map, but... Looks like they're gonna try and push this wave in. That's fun. I can still hold it here. They can't really pressure me or anything. If they try and push it in, I can actually win this 1v2. Okay. I'm not going to go for this all out yet, because I know Cruel might still be around. I can hold this wave here now. I don't know if Cruel is still here, but... If he does, he can't really gank me or anything, because I could just fall underneath the turret. Okay, yeah, Cruel is still here. So, like, there's nothing he could really do. If they push us in, I actually won't have any problem. Like, I can 1v2 them if they do. Just keep on playing around my burst. It'll be fun. Gotta make sure Cruel's not just sitting inside that bush. Uh, looks like he's... Okay, it looks like he's finding somebody. We can go for this. Nice. So that's why freezing your wave can be so helpful. Oh, wait, we can maybe... Wait, we can get this kill here. There's three of us. For sure can. Four of us. Oh, looks like Simbo got the kill. That's fine. Yeah, see, if you can hold the wave onto your side of the map, like, it's really, really hard for a bot laner against a Reza. Since Reza can just, like, get on top of you so easily like that, and just easily burst you down. So really, if without their jungler there, there's nothing Gwen could have done. I can actually win this trade. The minions are going to win this trade for me. They're all targeting onto Gwen. So I can maybe pressure him a bit. No, they're going to back up. Okay, I'll just get recall and need some energy. I'm actually not going to shuffle any energy yet. I'll be fine. I'll just go for straight up for my Shatter Gloss. 
Oh, okay, beats next time I shop, I guess. Yeah, see, like, Gwen doesn't really... They couldn't really do anything there. Like, I thought they are jungler. They would either have to sit all the way back and miss all the farm, or they'd have to step up and try and last hit, but then that puts them at danger of dying. Looks like they're trying to hold the wave onto their side of the map, which is a good idea, but too late for that. That wave is going to push back onto my side. You can easily just pressure him out. Set up another freeze. <laughs> yeah, like, there's nothing they could do. If I just land my A, I think they just use boots. Yeah, see, so, like, Cruel can't even gank me. Okay, they're going to be able to push this in, but... Should be fun. I mean, Cruel can't really... He won't be gaining much by staying here. Yeah, see, like, if they keep on pushing, I can literally 1v2 him. I don't know if Cruel's still around. I'm not going to all in that, because I don't want to die. Okay. Looks like we're good on that. I'm just going to push this in. I don't think it'll hold for a good freeze, so... I'll just push it and reset. Get a shop in. Level 6, so this is a good power spike with my ult. See if they're coming from the side. No, it looks like they came from there. I actually want to push this wave underneath the turret. Because I don't want Gwen to hold it here like they were trying to do last time. Because then they could just farm freely with the protection of their turret. If you shove the wave underneath the turret, you can reset the wave. I could probably dive him, but I don't want to get ulted. Let's see. I could just poke him out. Oh, they just wasted their ult. Wait, I can kill him here. They should not have wasted their ult. Okay, I don't even think I actually have to ult that. I think I could have just used my dash. <laughs> that probably would have been fine, but that's fine. Uh, I still have my flash, so I'm good. But yeah, um, as to what to build on Rosa, you can go for Shadow Glass, Spellfire, Broken Myth, like for those three core items. That works really, really well against squishy tar against squishy targets, and if you get fed, but you can also go for like. Uh, Spellfire, Aftershock, Broken Myth build if you're, like, you're against a more tankier team. Or if you want a cheaper build. So those are normally the two build paths that I go. There's a lot of different things that you can go. You can go for fourth item too if you want. It's just really up to you and how you feel. Your play style, stuff like that. Yeah, I should be able to just hold this freeze here now. I mean, there's nothing really... Any there isn't anything one can do. A lot of times with bot laners will do is if you hold a freeze like this they'll just go to another lane so you should probably be pinging your teammates just in case they do rotate because a lot of time a lot of times they'll realize that it's like helpless to try and get this farm or else they're gonna die actually i don't know if this freeze is gonna hold well it's looking like it's about to start pushing back yeah it's not gonna hold i don't think so Yeah, I definitely have more minions, and it's on my side of the map. Oh, well, that's fine. I'll just start pushing it back in a sec, I guess. This way, that way. Let's just start. Yeah, the reason why I don't like diving a Gwen at level 6 is because some crazy things can actually happen with the Gwen ult. Like, you can get stunned out of your own ult. Like, you can try and dodge it, but... If they get lucky, they can stun you out of your ult, and if you get stunned on your turret and out of your ult, that can really screw you over and like really destroy power spikes. So and that's why I didn't want to just hard dive them right away. But like, yeah, once they use their ult, they really don't have much more escape. Okay, well, I think they might have recalled or something. Oh wait, no, they're in mid. Okay, yeah, I guess they just gave up on this lane. I guess I'll just take the turret. Okay, actually... Wait, that hit me? Come on. Oh, I'm fine. I can just dash away. Oh, they had to use Fountain, too. Oh, that's a good trade, I guess. They used their Fountain just for that. Uh, I just want to recall. 
Wait, why is this dude here? Did Midden bought switch for them? I, I don't know. I, do not steer from it. I guess they're supporting mid laner playing my lane now and <laughs> Gwen is going mid. I guess that's fine. I should still be alright with this matchup. It'll be a bit more annoying with Lance here because Oh, come on. And this is just obnoxious to go against. Especially if you're playing a dive hero. Dang, this lance is actually blending their impulse pretty well. Uh, yo, they gotta watch out. Yeah, I actually did a match before this. But it was really, really short, so... That's what I'm doing this match. And I'll tack on the first match, I guess, at the end of this video, if you want to watch the second one, too. That's a little bit shorter, so... That's why I wanted to try to get another one. Since I didn't want a super short video. Yeah, if you want, that'll be after. Oh, I think I can get this. Call us. Let's see. Oh, never mind. I guess we'll get the lance. Yeah, Karas is a bit harder to gank because they have their dash to escape. If this Miho keeps on pushing, I might be able to get him. Ooh, looks like they're going to the shop. They're about to walk right into this bush. Yep. Oh, it's slow flask. Wait, that boots too. Dang, they got it. Ooh, I gotta watch out here. I don't want to get Oh, wait, I even tried to dodge that. Come on. Yeah, because I lost the top lane turret too. Wow, I don't even know how that Miho got out. They got their A off cooldown, and they still had boots and flasks. So. That was nice. Yeah, that turret was really obnoxious, and I can't... don't want to go into a lance and a turret, because that's how you die as a Reza. Okay, well that's fine. I really wanted that kill. That Miho would have been a nice bounty. Okay, this is kind of annoying, because... Oh, never mind. Tony's here. Like, I can't, like, straight up 1v1 or cruel. I have to, like, play around my burst, like, really well. It's kind of annoying, but that's what you gotta do. Okay, I want this Miho. I don't know if they have ults back of cooldown. Uh, we should go for this. Oh, come on, they dodge my I don't think they meant to, but... Yeah, because I don't have my ult up. And I really need my block. Ooh, I don't know what that would. Oh well, he lived. Nice. Once I get my block up, I can start doing more. Because I don't want to get stunned up on Miho again, or Lance rooted, or get the walled, so. That's really annoying. I also need energy. Normally on Reza, I don't like to buy energy items until I need to. Like, just because I prefer to get damage, of course, and try and just abuse my power spike as much as I can. So that's why I hold off on the energy for as long as I can. But yeah, you can start working to your chargers like whenever you need to. Some people like to do it earlier, but I don't really do that too often. We'll see. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I'm not going to go for 1v4. I'm not doing that. I might be able to get a kill or two and get out, but I don't want to take the risk and give my bounty to somebody. Oh, uh, this dude's still pushing top lane. Let's see if we could do this. We just have to play around our auto attacks in A. Yeah, see, if he keeps on getting auto attacks on us, he can win this. Okay, um... I don't know about this. I can ult for this, but I don't know if it's... I don't want to waste my ult on this cool. It's like, he's just regening so much. Okay, Tony's rotating up now. That's fine. I still have everything up, so he can't kill me, but... Just don't have to waste it on him. I'd rather use it to try and get this Miho. 
There. Oh, I'm gonna get a recall in, that's fine. I don't need that healer. Okay. Should honestly stop getting caught out. Okay, I think I can get this Miho here. If they keep on pushing, I have everything up and I'm fine with using it. Even with Lance here, I think I'm good. Nice, we should be able to get this Lance too. Okay, there we go. We can do this now. Wait, we need our entire team here. We need Tony and Scruff to come. Ooh, Ooh that's a good sleep. Wait, I'm gonna tease my A. Crap. I just fat fingered that. Whoops. Oh, come on, that was the left fountain. Oh well. No, that wasn't. With Arden, like, you don't really want to be ulting, like, for Samuel, because Samuel doesn't have, like, that burst damage that, like, other heroes have. It's like trapping somebody in there for too long, like, it won't do as much as he, if he, as if he uses his ult when I'm around. So he probably should be holding the ult for me, but, yeah, I kind of screwed that up. <laughs> I misclicked that. <laughs> have you watched the first game? I misclicked so many times. I'm, like, half asleep today. I keep on using my wrong abilities. I keep on like tapping my B or tapping my B when I'm meant to tap my A. Cool. Okay, so this dude still can keep on pushing top lane. Okay, Tony can just rotate up here. He's already on top side. Yeah, nobody else is around, so we should be fine. Okay, see, it's so much easier whenever Tony's around. We need Tony to take dragons because Reza does an awful job of taking dragons. And so does Samuel. Samuel doesn't do too well either. And Scarf is just usually dead, so. <laughs> we kind of need Tony. He's our only weapon pair hero, so. Weapon pair heroes are generally pretty good at taking dragons. Okay, I want him to start to engage. I don't want I don't want to go in for this and then have Miho just A out. I want to see if they engage onto the scarf. I don't think they know I'm here. Nice, okay. Should be a kill. Yep, so if you get bait out A like that, it's so much easier to get a Miho. Because they can easily just dash away, reset their A's a bunch of times, and then keep on dashing. And then just boots and stuff, and that just makes it a pain to chase him. Okay, Tony, please come, Tony. Oh, looks like he's coming. Nice. Oh, wait, no, he's going to the jungle. No, oh, not the jungle. Okay, it doesn't look like this is happening. See, this is the one downside to Reza is as you reach late game, you do start to fall off. Your damage isn't as much. So if you want, you want to try and end in the mid game. But that's the only reason why Reza like is not completely broken is because he's easily countered in the late game. He does not do as much. It looks like this is going to like. Well, let's see if we can get a kill here. Okay, nice. Oh, wait. That was a good ult. Oh, wait. I thought I was out of range of that. Come on. Yikes. That was a really good ult there. See, blind Miho ults are almost impossible to block. Like, a good Miho will not just ult straight up. And everybody always just says Creasy Miho ult. I mean, of course, that's easy if they just use it straight up, but blind ults are so much harder. It's definitely possible, but they're really, really difficult. I guess we'll just go for Creasy this match. Let's see. We can block him. Because I honestly think that if we block a Miho ult, we can easily win fights, because the Miho is the main damage on their team. They're playing pretty well, and they're pretty fed, too. They're almost as fed as me. 
Nice. Like, if they land like that, they could just keep on resetting onto us. Oh, uh, I don't know why they're still staying. Again, if we just stick together, I forget a kill or two, we can- we should just go for dragon. We can easily, like, end with, like, one or two pushes. If we just stick together. Oh, now they're going for that. I don't think that's- that's worth going for steel. We should just chop down the slants. Don't go for the steel, that's way too risky. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not gonna go for that. Yeah, maybe it could have gone for some dashes over, but... That's not worth it there. Like, if we all die here, they can probably end. Okay, as long as I keep on making this Miho back up, I think we'll be fine. Miho already used ult, so I'm not too worried about it. I think I can win this. Nice, okay. There we go, we forced him out, that's good enough. We could just kill this dragon now. See, like, if I would have died earlier, that would have been made this push so much worse. I probably would have gotten all the turrets. I don't think this dragon will take the next turret. No, I won't. But yeah, like, on, for your block, you can either use it to, um, to, like, get rid of land CC, or to try and block something for Miho. Because, like, I think the first time, too, I think I blocked the Miho um, mark thing. Once I get the three marks, you can block off the stun part. And I think that, I'm not entirely sure, but I think that that makes it so they don't get the reset on their A2, so. That's really, really helpful if they don't get the reset. Because Miho relies on that so much. Yo, that Tony does so much damage, what the? Okay. Get this. Oh. No, my team's all going in the other direction. Team. Oh wait, they're doing this. Ooh. Did not see that coming. Okay, no, let's just go for the dragon. We need the dragons, not the kills. We have enough kills. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure we get this dragon first. Okay, I don't know what that's in the ultimate speed. Wait, what? They got somebody. Okay. Never mind, I spoke way too soon. Okay, I don't think Lance would have been able to steal up. Okay, I guess good Sammy Walt. I did not see Lance that Lance was around. Guess he might have been. I don't really know. Dang, these people really just love taking the form. <laughs> they have so much of a faster wave clear too. Because Tony's weapon power. That's one of the downsides to the Reza is your wave clear isn't as good as some other heroes. But if you want, you can always go Weapon Pair Reza. Weapon Pair Reza is a fun hero. I love that hero. It's such a good split pusher. I have a couple of videos out on it. Yep. Okay, my team should... We, should, we gotta do something with this Ghost Wing buff. They're gonna come for their jungle. We can catch somebody out. Oh wait, did I have vision in here or something? Oh, I got caught on the wall. Ah, oh, dang, I can't get him. I don't have any more dashes. Wow, they got so lucky there. Oh, dang, that was... Holy crap. The team's doing such a good job with their CC. Or at least the Samuel is, I mean. <laughs> Why is that cooled? Okay, we can try and siege this. I don't know where Tony is. Tony's just doing his own thing, I guess. Like, we have a Scarf and a Samuel. We should be able to siege a turret, which is a cool... Okay, I gotta make sure Miho doesn't rotate on us. Okay, he's over there. Yeah, I didn't want another blind behold instance. That would've been bad. And Tony's still farming. Yikes. That one was- oh, I meant to use my B. I did not mean to ult. <laughs> I'm still half asleep, I guess. Dang, no, that doesn't happen. Oh well. Yeah, looks like this Tony's having a good time with their weapon power path. No boots or anything. Looks like fun. <laughs> At least they're getting fed, I guess. You know, it's actually probably a really, really good counter to Miho now that I think about it. Weapon Power Tony would completely destroy Miho. 
Here's like weapon pair Tony, weapon pair Baptiste. They do really, really well. Yep. Ooh, dang, that was some good burst. Honestly, Tony can solo this. Like, he has so much gold and so much weapon power, he can easily do it. Ooh, I don't know about this engage. They're just gonna fall back to their turret. This is a horrible engage. Plus, Scarf isn't even here. Okay, I gotta save my Creasy for Miho ult this time. I think last time I used it on the Gwen ult. Okay, we just gotta stay together. I don't know what this Tony's doing. He's kind of caught out. Oh, no, do not go that way. Do not go that way. And he's caught out. No, that's a rip. Oh, we got to back up. We are now winning a 3v5. They should just run. They don't even need to fight that. I'll just try and push lanes. I can't do anything here. Like, it's too late in the match for me now to, like, 1v5. I don't have as much burst as I did in the early game. I'll just push this top lane, I guess, and make some of them recall. Yeah, I don't know why they keep on trying to fight that. They just need to fall back to turret and clear minion waves. Okay, looks like Cruel's heading up. Can get a recall in here. Okay, plus Miho's recalling, so that's fine now. Oh, we can try and look for this engage here. Without Miho or Cruel, that's such a free engage. Wait, we can go for this. I have everything up. I can easily win this. Uh, no, I cannot easily win this. It's 1v3. Uh, I didn't really have a team with me. Dang, I thought I could have gotten that. Oh, dang. And I'd already used my Creasy. That's a rip. Oh my gosh, do you know what I mean though? <laughs> Weapon prior Tony. I don't know why he ran from that. He could have gotten that kill. He was right on top of him. Dude, this Tony can just destroy everybody. Yeah, see, now they have shrouds and stuff. That counters my burst by so much. It makes me deal so much less damage. So I can't really go for like 1v3s anymore. Okay, they should go for dragon still. Like, it's 4v3. Plus, this Tony is like, has all the gold for the past like 10 minutes of this match. Oh, wait, are they on that? I think they are. Wait. Please, somebody check that. Wait, yes, they're on that. Okay, Tony saw it. Oh, never mind. Tony, do not. Head over there. Where's our team? Our team. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think they dropped it. That's good. Can head over there now. Did our Arden just buy teleport boots? Yes, he did. Interesting call. Oh dang, Samuel landed that sleep too. What a legend. Samuel's landed like every sleep that I've seen. Okay, I gotta get this Creasy here. Yeah, we, ju we just gotta keep on kiting back. We need Tony. Tony's still farming, doing his own thing. Uh, I just gotta watch out for the Miho ult. Oh, wait, can I get this Miho? Oh, they're one shot. No, I cannot get that. No, I gotta dip. I think my backline walked out of the range of my Creasy. There was too far, because my Creasy didn't get to my backline. It only got to Arden. I think they're out of range. I don't know, we really do have an interesting team comp. We don't exactly have one that like synergizes very well. Oh my gosh, this Tony. Yo, what the? That's insane. Okay, please let's take this dragon. It's a 29 minute Black Claw. Whoever gets the next Black Claw wins. Oh no, don't go that way. No, my pings are on cooldown for too long. I think the cooldown for my pings is like longer than my ult cooldown. Okay, I'm gonna start this up and pray that Tony just comes. Yo, what do you need more gold for? What? You already have like all the weapon power in the world. Oh my gosh, please just come this way. Okay, I hope he comes. We'll see. Please walk in this direction. Oh, I think he's on his way. Nice, okay. Let's see how, like, look how fast he takes this just by himself. He's not even taking damage, he's just regening it all. He could have soloed it so many times. 
Okay, let's see. Oh, that shot. Yeah, that's not happening. At least they just wasted a bunch of stuff for that. Oh, wait, this one's by themselves, I think. Dang, no, I can't get that. See what I mean? These shrouds counter me so hard. They're so tanky now. Like, my burst doesn't do enough. Again, okay, that's like the one weakness to Reza. Ooh, dang, that golem landed. Nice. Oh, yeah, I don't got Creasy anymore. Use um, like a lance root. Okay, I think we can end with this. If I could just force this Miho out, we should be fine. Nice, there's our flask. Okay, I got mold back up. Nice, okay, I just want this Miho. Oh, uh, come back here. Nice. Finally, I think that's game. Ooh, that took so much longer than it should have. Ooh, that's gonna be better for this match, but... Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm gonna stick- I'm gonna tack on the second match after this, I guess, so... If you want, you can enjoy that. So yeah, I guess <laughs> I guess I'll heal the intro and everything again. Anyways, these are the builds. And I guess we'll go into the match before this. What is up, guys? Your James here. Today we're back again, and this video we're playing some CP Reza in the top lane. And we will see how this works out. It's been a minute since I played Reza, so... Thought I'd give it a shot again. Of course, I always like to start with my B. Try and get to my lane first, because a lot of times you can catch the enemy off guard. I think we're going up against the Baron. We shall see. I think it is. Where are they? I can easily win a level 1 trade. I want to try and see where they are. No, I guess they're starting in lane. Unfortunate. I'll just go to my healer. Oh, what is this Taka doing here? Oh, come on, man. I got your entire jungle. Let me have mine. Okay, nice. He left. Well, I guess he did help me clear a bit, but... I just about to take that for a minute. I need it for levels, because I need to get to level 2. Level 2 is pretty good time for Reza. Yeah, I can easily outtrade this Baron. <laughs> Here's nothing they can really do. I can reach level 2 soon, though. Oh wait, they just wasted their jump. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to be wasting your jump like that if you're Baron. Because once Baron uses jump, he has like no mobility, so I can easily go onto him. There's this flask. Okay. I did not. I think I accidentally ordered a minion at first. Let's just stall my flask. I know they don't. I could probably kill him here. Ooh, dang. One shot. Uh, I probably should have gone for the extra auto. Never mind. Thankfully, I did not go for that extra auto because I would probably be dead here. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Put a decent amount of pressure. Now they're gonna push that wave back. But yeah, I don't know. Not, I know that a lot of Vangler creators have like switched games lately. But the main reason for that is just because it's super hard to grow at Vanglory, like... Other games have bigger audiences and more potential to grow. But like, I'm still playing Vanglory because that's what I like, but... If you definitely want to grow, like, it's definitely a reasonable decision. Because like, to put into perspective, like, the amount of growth I've had in the past, like, year... I've probably gotten in, like, two weeks before, back in the past. Ooh, wait, can I get the spear in? Oh wait, I meant to use my A, not my B. Okay, I still have boots to get us. I should be fine. Okay. That was a mistap. I did not mean to do that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, it's just a bigger audience and stuff. Like, the amount of growth lately has not been much for Vanguard creators. Like, it's just really, really hard to get new subs and stuff like that, so. That's why a lot of people have been switching. But yeah, I thought I'd just stick with VG because. It's just what I like playing. Okay, I can honestly set up a freeze here. This would be a good freeze. I could just force him out whenever he 
Goes in for the last hit. He just uses jumps so like that's like a 20 second cooldown now. And he can't come up without his jump. Without his jump, he can get onto him so easily. Yeah, he better not go for any more last hits. A Starward Baron is so useless. No, I'm sad. Okay, it looks like they're probably gonna go to take their jungle or something, or rotate, I don't really know. Sometimes, whenever you freeze like this, the enemies just rotate to another lane because they know that they can't do anything. Let's see, okay. Oh, they take the weapon pair buff. Ah, oh, sucks to be this cruel. Yeah, that happens so often. I feel like that's the most. A likely thing to happen is the enemy ball laner, they just like tilt and then go and take the jungle from their jungler. And that just makes it hard for the jungler, because they don't have any jungle. Like the amount of times I've seen ball laners just go and take the gold look because they want gold. It, it's pretty sad. Yeah, the scroll is just in bot lane, so. Can push this underneath the turret. No. I mean, eventually the freeze is going to break. I don't think that was really that good of a freeze, but hope for a little bit. Okay, I don't know where Baron is. Okay, they're taking the healer. Let's see if I can get there in time. Nope. Okay, that's all right. We can get a shop in. We're level six now. That's a good power spike. We can definitely be looking to kill this Baron. Once I get my Shatter Glass too, that'll definitely help out. Level 8 is really nice too, because with level 8, I get the extended range on my A, so that makes it easier to land onto Baron. And it's really just all about landing your A and then going in for an auto. If you can, you want to try and get in the auto without using a dash, but if you have to, you can use a dash. Because your dashes are like the most valuable thing. They keep you from getting ganked, they have good engage and disengage too. So it's just really, really important. <laughs> this is probably like the most tilting thing to go against as a bot laner. Because there's nothing they could do here. If they step up for this farm, I can kill them. Like right away. Yeah, because their jungler isn't here. Not like your jungler. There isn't much you could do against some mid game Reza. Pretty sure that Baptiste is getting rotated on by Cruel. Thought I saw Cruel around that river. Yup, Cruel's down there. Okay, but peace is fun. Yeah, whenever you are doing freezes, it is important to keep track of the enemy ball or er, the enemy jungler. Because what you don't want to happen is you don't want this wave to build up really big and then have the enemy ball or and enemy jungler show up to your lane and just push this in. Because if they have a good push comp and a giant mini wave, that's just going to make it hard on you. But really, I don't think it would matter too much in this case because the Cruel and Baron won't really be sieging. I'm talking about more of like... If you're against like a Kestrel and like a ball in and a jungler that could put on a lot of pressure. Pressure and reach hurt. Like these heroes can't pressure me and reach hurts, it's not a big deal. But yeah, you just want to be careful about it. Okay, I gotta kill some of these minions. You don't want the wave to get too big. Ideally when doing a freeze, you want it to be like two or three minions more than your wave. That's like the ideal thing. Yeah, see, like, there's nothing they could do here. This wave is really, really far into my side of the map. I have my ult too, so... If I see an opportunity, I could just go for it. Oh, whoa, what is going on there? Never mind, I gotta clear this out and rotate there. What the... How are they pushing the second tier mid turret already? It's, it's not even eight minutes. Okay, well, I'm gonna go and get a shop in and then head there. Yo, that's kind of crazy. I did not expect to see that when I looked at mid. Oh, yeah, I have so much gold. Okay. Let's see, where's the scarf? Okay, yeah, I don't know what was going on in mid. <laughs> that's kind of weird. Ooh, is this... Oh, this Baron's trying to get some of his farm. Yeah, that's not happening. Yeah, I don't even think I have to ult for that. Oh. 
Got lucky there, he stole flask. Oh, come on. Oh, I heard you pushed in his bot lane. No, oh, wait, good old. That's fine, I think we could have turned over him too. I didn't really want to waste ults on him there. I don't think it was really needed to, so. So I kind of just backed off instead of hard committing. I know I could have gotten that kill if I did just use boots and everything, but. I don't necessarily. I don't just didn't feel like it was worth it in that case. What is that Finn doing? I think I win this. Oh, come on. Did not want to have to use ult. That Baron had a good ult. I wasn't really expecting that. I heard it, but. I don't know. I was hoping maybe you would have ulted somewhere else. I don't like wasting my stuff if I can avoid it. Because a lot of times they can just come in clutch if you just try and hold on to it. Like, if you can. Of course, you don't want to be, like, too stingy. Like, I probably should have just used it there earlier. And it can, like, sometimes come back to get you, but a lot of times it does save you. Ooh, I don't know about this. I don't have my ult here. See, like, if I still had my ult here, I can easily just kill all three of them, but... Yeah, I can only get one of them without my ult. Oh, this Baptiste is still here. kind of want some gold. I want at least two items before, like, other people take my farm. Two items is kind of just, like, the standard on, like, all heroes. Like, once you get two items, that's a good spot. I don't have last scroll, so I can't really do too much more. Okay, nice. This healer's up. Hopefully nobody rotates here. Because I need this hold. No, I see I keep on standing in my lane. Oh, can I get this big minion? Nice, I got it. Okay, well I guess we can push this turret because we got three people up here. You know, one of the reasons why I like top lane is because it's kind of just my own thing. Like, people don't rotate up here as much. And it's more of like... Just by yourself. Oh, I can get this kill here. Yeah, Baron's just... <laughs> way too weak early. Well, that helped from a juggler versus a Reza early. And there's no way Baron's gonna win that early. Yeah, I kind of just like top lane because it's my own thing. Like, I'm kind of just chilling by myself. Like, when I started, when I chose this uh, main top lane, it was like 1v2. Um, it was like 1v2 meta, and it's kind of been that way for like two years. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the jungler always stayed bot lane, and then top lane always had to 1v2. And I kind of liked it, so. That was actually why I picked top lane. Like, I didn't like everybody always rotating to lane and all that, so. That was one thing that I liked. It just gets kind of messy whenever, like, everybody rotates to your lane. Okay, let's see what we can do here. No, oh, I can't kill a Grace. I don't think I can. No, oh, Cruel's here, too. Okay, I guess we'll head there. Needed to shop. Oh, dang, they're still going for that. I did not think they were going to go for that engage. I thought they were about to back off. Oh, that fountain just saved Oh, no, that did fountain did not save me. Nice, we should be able to get this too. Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to let this Baron push in the turret. Okay, looks like they back off. Oh, this Finn just ate my wave. As a Finn, please never do that to your laners. Do not use your A on a minion wave and take all the minions. That's like the most annoying thing you can do as a Finn. Use your ability since they <laughs> affect the entire minion waves. Oh, the enemy surrendered. Well, that's a rip. I guess I'll play another match because this one was kind of short. I don't really want a short match. Yeah, like, that's so much more gold than all of them. So did Taka. Taka got fed too. But anyways, I guess that'll be about it for this match. And we'll head into the next one.